Pride Month, and you know what that means. We've got corporate America and big businesses pushing rainbow virtue signaling, changing their logos, and putting out impassioned statements, all while actually not caring at all about LGBT people and selling out these principles when nobody's looking. Let's break it down. First, I'm Brad Palumbo. Welcome to Breaking Brad, a series where we break down the big picture issues in our politics. If you're new here, like this video, comment, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. And let's get into this, because boy, we have a lot to talk about today. So every June with Pride Month, companies come out and put out all these rainbow logos and statements and everything. And in a way, I want to be clear. As a gay person, right, I appreciate that that is a sign of progress. It's a sign of how far we've come, that there's so much acceptance, that they don't get so much backlash for this, and that they actually want to seem like they are tolerant in order to make more money and be more popular. That says a lot about how far we've come. But some of it is so transparently hypocritical and so lacking in any substance or follow through that it honestly just grates me and I wish they would just stay out of it altogether. Consider Exxon, for example, you know, the oil company. Look at their beautiful rainbow logo on their US account. Now check out their account for India, you know, where homosexuality is extremely stigmatized. Spot any difference? Oh my god, your hair is different. It's not just Exxon by any stretch. These are just a few examples, but there's honestly too many to count at this point. At least with those ones though, it's pretty superficial. It's not the end of the world. There are a few companies like Disney and Apple that really actually go to great lengths to betray the stated values that they trot out every Pride Month. Disney is very vocal about its support for Pride Month and has even condemned US politicians who they think are insufficiently tolerant on this issue. What's the problem? Well, they've actually censored their content in the past so that it can be shown in countries where homosexuality is illegal or stigmatized because apparently making a buck is more important than standing up for the values that they're so happy to tweet about. In fact, a letter from LGBT employees inside Disney complained that we at Pixar, which Disney owns, have personally witnessed beautiful stories full of diverse characters come back from Disney corporate reviews shaved down to crumbs of what they once were. Nearly every moment of overtly gay affection is cut at Disney's behest, regardless of when there is protest from both the creative teams and executive leadership at Pixar. Apparently, Disney's stunning and brave embrace of LGBT activism disappears and evaporates the moment they might lose a buck in an anti-gay market. Where's my money? You gonna give me my money? Where's my money, man? But Apple might be the worst and most hypocritical corporation of all when it comes to Pride Month. They tout their support for the LGBT community, yet they actively work with foreign governments and other countries to block LGBT content and censor apps off the App Store. A report from the activist organization Fight for the Future finds that Apple has been enabling government censorship of LGBTQ plus content, most directly with 1,377 documented cases of app access restrictions in 152 app stores across the world. Moreover, at least 50 LGBTQ plus apps in including the majority of the most popular ones, are currently unavailable in one or more apps. You're a piece of shit. Yes, seriously. They throw out the rainbow flag and go in this Pride Month marketing scheme while actually actively betraying the community, blocking apps that people could benefit from, and kowtowing to governments that hate gay people. I lost respect for you. Okay. And this gets to the core of my issue with all of this. Look, I'm a free market capitalist, so I'm certainly not bothered by the idea that corporations want to make a profit. But just do that. Be profit-seeking, make the ruthless decisions, but just admit that that's what you are. And don't pretend that you're some woke, social justice, um, charitable, and benevolent organization when you're really not. You're a fake and a phony and I wish I'd never laid eyes on you. Whoa. The hypocrisy is grating and galling and so transparent, it also really undercuts the actual need for pride. While the official pride movement has really been taken over by woke politics at this point, the actual need for pride is still evident in the United States and also across the world. It's still not easy to be gay, though tons of progress has been made, people are still thrown away from their families, disregarded by friends, and face all sorts of consequences, internal and external, because they struggle to be who they are. And on a global scale, there are still 71 countries that criminalize homosexuality and 11 countries where you can still get the death penalty for it. Clearly, we still do need a general sense of pride to promote acceptance and tolerance in the true sense. 
But that's discredited, not advanced, when corporations wrap themselves in rainbows and pretend to be these activists that they're actually not. We would be better off if they would either put their money where their mouth is, or just give it a rest and shut up. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Let's try to get at least 150 down there. Uh, be sure to subscribe. Turn on the bell notification if you do want to join this community because then you'll actually see my content. Uh, and with that, I'll see you all in the next video.